Beloved, this is another day. The Almighty Jehovah has given us a break. Without wasting time, let us pray. Our Father, our mighty Lord, you are the King of glory. With you, all things are possible. Father, we thank you for giving us a breath around the whole world. Because you control life. With you, all things are possible. Hallelujah be to your name, mighty King. We thank you. We give you all the glory. It is by your mercies that we are still alive. Unto thee, O oh Lord, with you, all things are possible. Father, Holy Spirit, this is a vessel that you can use. I am a filthy clay before you. So this morning, I avail myself that you can use me. Speak through me, O oh Lord, and let your word come forth. I thank you. I give you all the glory. I honor you because you are the mighty savior. Unto thee, O oh Lord, all things are possible. May your will shall be done this morning unto us. In Jesus Christ's mighty name, I, I pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Hallelujah. Beloved, this is another day that the Lord has made. He has given us a word. And the title of the word is The Narrow Way. So without wasting time, we will go into the scripture, which is Matthew 7, 13 and 14. Let us hear the word of God. Hallelujah. Oh, we thank you. We magnify the only name that is above every name. Let's hear the word. This is by our Lord Jesus Christ. He said, enter the narrow gate, for the world is the gate. And the broad is the way that lead to destruction. And there are many who go in by it. 14. Because the narrow is the gate. And the difficult, the difficult is the way which leads to life. And there are few who find it. Beloved, this is by the king of glory. He is telling us about the two gates. The Lord is telling us the two gates that should, we should enter. Christ know the way. He has demonstrated before us what gate to choose. What gate will lead you to him and also the gate that will lead to destruction. Christ is telling us that gate that lead to him only. For the other gate that lead to destruction is where that your life or the soul will be tormented forever. He is telling us the other gate that he, Christ, has created for Satan and his demons. And those who does not want to accept him as their personal savior. So beloved, Christ is letting us to know the gate to choose. The broad gate is what Christ is telling us. That where the souls go, that they will be in torment. Oh, Christ, you are so good. Christ is telling us by taking the broad way, that will be a destruction forever and forever. Beloved, by taking the narrow way, lead us to internal life. The narrow way is a resting place. Hallelujah. For our soul, that can be saved for Christ. 
So, beloved, let us read another scripture. That is Matthew 6. And the verse is 33. Let's hear the word of God. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and its righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Oh, God, you are the master. You are our Lord. That the kingdom of God is for the saints who know Christ and should know Christ. He is telling about the kingdom. He who has believed as we are image of him. He doesn't want any of his soul to perish. The Lord care for his children. That's why we have to fellowship with him in a daily basis. To know him, he is a lovely father. He is kind. He is good. What a God that we have. We honor him because he wants us to enter into the narrow gate, to be with him. To enter the narrow gate, you have to work out your salvation with fear and tremble. Let us read another scripture, which is by Job. And it's Job 23 and the verse is 10. Let's hear the word of God. But he knows the way that I take. When he has tested me, I shall come out as gold. This is by Job. He said, when he is tested, he will come out like gold. Beloved, we all know the story of Job. But Job knew his God. And Job was tested. And by his God's mercy, he came out. So, beloved, the scripture we read, Job is describing how he came out. It's only God that knows the way. As Job was saying, he went through the narrow way. And he was tried and he came out like gold. For example, to enter the narrow way, it take a hard work. Sacrifice, commitment, set your body apart as a living sacrifice for God Almighty. Reading the word of God, yielding to the Holy Spirit, witnessing to others to save souls for Christ's kingdom. Hallelujah. What a mighty Lord. What a mighty King. Let's hear our last scripture, which is Matthew 6.33. We give him all the glory. Matthew 6.33. Let's hear the word of God. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and its righteousness, and all things shall be added. He alone have all things. He alone created all things. Beloved, we have to know our God, the one who is in control, the one who is coming to take his saint. So, beloved, let us work out our salvation. Our soul is important to our Lord because he created it. It belongs to him. And all things shall pass away, but his word will never pass away. What a mighty Lord. The kingdom of God is where every saint wants to be. Let us prepare let us be faithful with our Lord and work out our salvation. God is so good. The Lord 
has been taking care of us from the day we were born up to now. What a lovely father. What a kind God. We give him all his glory and honor that our Lord is so good. What a mighty Lord that we serve. He is worthy to be praised. So this morning, he is telling us which way, which gate to enter. So it is up to you and I to choose the right way so that we'll be with our Lord forever and forever. May his blessings be upon it. May his will be upon us. We give him all his glory. May God Almighty bless his end time prophet and also the family and also the viewers that listen to prophets on a daily basis. May your heart desire be met. We thank him. We give him all his glory for giving us a message which gate that we have to choose. So it is a choice. May his will shall be done. In Jesus' name, I pray with thanksgiving. Amen.